How did we get started? I was finishing my second postdoc in Guadeloupe, in the Caribbean, in Olivier Gros' lab. And at that time, he shared with me this um, new project, exciting uh, preliminary data they had on this uh, weird giant bacteria they found in mangrove. And I applied to this very unique uh, position. It was a discovery-based project, and it was the perfect fit uh, because Olivier basically allowed me to bring with me this exciting um, uh, topic to California and build on what they already had started in the Caribbean. The two take home message are first, it is a very, very big bacteria. Obviously, it is uh, uh, thousands of times larger than, than other regular sized bacteria. To give you a, a comparison, discovering this bacterium is like encountering a human being that will be as tall as the Mount Everest. Uh, the second one, which is I think even more exciting, is that we found that there are structures within these bacteria which contain the DNA and that uh, those structures compartmentalize the DNA from the rest of the cytoplasm and that is very unique. It is not something that has been observed in bacteria before. Of course, being here at the DOE Joint Genome Institute, we had the possibility to rely on the amazing expertise from uh, a lot of people to sequence and analyze the genome of these giant bacteria. Being here at the lab basically allowed me to uh, build on the imaging work that had already been done in Guadeloupe by uh, Olivier's lab. I, I was uh, essentially able to go from two-dimensional imaging uh, techniques to three-dimensional observations. For this, you need to be able to visualize very long specimens in their entirety, in three dimensions, but also at a very high magnification so that you are not going to miss any single membrane that would separate these filaments into several cells.